Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. For the first Skillet Sundays of 2021, we're going to be doing something a little bit healthier. I've started kind of going more low carb at the beginning of the year. So I'm going to be cooking up a creamy tomato chicken skillet. What you'll need for this is about a pound, a pound and a half of chicken. I had about three chicken breasts. I sliced some of them in half so that they're all pretty much an even thickness. You'll need some cream, olive oil, salt and pepper, some crushed red pepper, tomato paste, crushed tomatoes, some minced garlic. You'll need some kale, a little bit of basil for garnish, and of course my favorite Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and get some olive oil in the cast iron skillet over medium heat. And while that's heating up, we will salt and pepper the chicken. Once your olive oil is hot, you go ahead and add the chicken. As your chicken starts to finish up, you can pull pieces out when they're done. So once the chicken's done, you can set it on a plate to the side covered. And now we're going to add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Your skillet will still be on medium to medium high heat. We're gonna add about two teaspoons of garlic, which is about four cloves or so. And then about a teaspoon of red pepper. And then you'll stir that until it's fragrant. Once that's fragrant, you can add your can of crushed tomatoes. Stir that all together. Once you bring this to a simmer, let it cook for about three minutes or so. After about three or four minutes, you can go ahead and add one cup of heavy cream. Add four cups of kale. And a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese. And mix that all together. You'll want to wilt the kale down so it'll take about three minutes or so. So after about three minutes, you can add your chicken back in. And you'll cook your chicken in this sauce for about five minutes or until your internal temperature of the chicken is 165. After five minutes, you can take off the heat, add the last fourth a cup of cheese, and then top with some fresh basil, and serve. Thanks for joining me today with this keto-friendly Skillet Sundays.